I triggered something, but what? I triggered something, but what? I triggered something, but what? Feel my wrath! Here we are, Farglow, the place where our disciples become true dragon slayers. And today, the honor is yours. They are quite simple. Seek out the men and women who reside here and benefit from their knowledge. That may sound a bit vague, but don't worry. Farglow will explain itself. You'll have to see for yourself. Don't be so apprehensive. You'll be fine. This is a momentous step in every Slayer's life, but few have fared badly afterwards. Though I should very much like to enter the village again, I am forbidden to do so. Only once in their lives may Dragon Slayers enter it, as disciples. In any case, it would be imprudent to join you. This is a part of the journey each Slayer must walk alone. Not completely, no. After the initiation, we will head back to Rivertown, where the ritual will come to its conclusion. But let's talk about that on the Zeppelin when we head back, shall we? Good luck, Slayer. The disciple arrives. Let me bid you a fond welcome to Farglow. And I commend your patience. Most slayers loathe being referred to as a pupil. Such a belittling word, disciple, is, wouldn't you say, for one who has since the age of ten been groomed to become the elite of man's warriors. But don't you worry. You'll earn the title of Dragon Slayer soon enough. I presume Commander Rode has been rather cryptic about what you're supposed to do here, and I can't reveal much more. In fact, I have but one thing to add. Morgana is waiting by the waterfall. Find her, and the purpose of this day shall become crystal clear. The Archmage. She's an intimidating woman, to be sure, but ah, pleasant enough in her own way. Her laboratory is at the back of the village, next to the Divine Memorial Flame. Oh, several people, but she'll send you on your way after her part of the ritual. The others probably won't share more than a few words with you until they know you've visited Morgana. As the name says, it's a shrine that bears a flame in honor of the Divine. The bowl in which the flame was lit is held aloft by stone dragons. This design symbolizes the burden they carry on their shoulders, the guilt that was heaped upon them when they killed the Divine. And you, Slayer. Welcome to Farglow, Slayer. It's what the imps used to call the place when it was first built. They were used to black and star-dotted skies only, but from then on they saw fires glow from afar. Somehow the settlers learned of the name their hamlet went by, and soon they adopted it themselves. Farglow used to be a small hunter community, until it was destroyed by the Black Ring during the Great War. 
When the war was over, a group of powerful wizards and warriors chose to build a secret retreat where once the town had stood because of its remote location. Now a handful of villagers live here again. We tend to the houses and do all kinds of little chores for them. In return, we can live a quiet life up here, safe and far away from the evils that roam the lands. Bye, Slayer. Not now. Not now. Morgana first, me later. Read my lips, disciple. L A T E R. Disciple, how are you? You haven't seen Morgana yet, have you? No. To combine that brew with last night's herbal distillation might cause an implosion. Try it anyway. You can be so irresponsible sometimes. That's easy for you to say. You can't die a second time. Good to see you, disciple. I am Morgana, the Archmage of Fargloom. Oh, everybody makes a bit of a fuss when a soon-to-be slayer arrives. We all have our fields of study and a good life to lead, but the village can get a tad dull now and again. But let's turn to the reason you are here, the ritual that will make you a true dragon slayer. To be a slayer is to hate the dragon, but also to understand it. No other order in Revelon takes the old military adage, know your enemy quite so seriously as the Academy does. To attain this goal, I will infuse you with the memories of dragons. It will make you understand their language, motives, powers, and weaknesses. It will also color your eyes silver, the noted characteristic of the Slayer, which will enable you to see the spirits of the dead. The ritual has a side effect, but nothing can be done about that. The real drawback is this. The spell was not originally designed for the brain of a human, so to make place for it, you will lose your active knowledge of your years as a slayer. It's unpleasant. I realize that, but a slayer needs those dragon memories in order to operate. The only comfort is that your powers still persist on a subconscious level, so you'll regain your skills rather quickly. Becoming a dragon slayer is a harsh occurrence, but you'll become one of Rivalon's greatest heroes. The memories not only give you more insight and knowledge than a man could absorb in a century of unbroken study, they also protect you from mind attacks the dragons perform. Without that, you'd be a puppet doing their bidding. But now, 
you have equal mental strength, so dominance in combat can be achieved. Quite so. You could call it a perk that comes with the power of the memories. Everyone can see the living dead, of course, those poor souls that have fallen prey to necromancers. But to see the ghosts of those long dead is a precious ability, and will prove useful more frequently than you may think. No, no, they haven't. Your training has made you a force to be reckoned with, and has shaped a mind that rivals the wise teachers of old. Lesser people will be driven mad by the dragon memories. Only one as arduously trained as yourself can absorb them. Take comfort in the fact that slayers like Rode and Marius have faced the same ordeal and went on to become mighty warriors. Then prepare to become a dragon slayer. That's that. You might experience some dizziness for a while, some disorientation, perhaps. The journey starts again, my friend. Your path is an empty page ready to be filled with tales of wonder, of adventure. But before you trot out of here in search of dragons and distinction, make sure you meet the veterans here. Alberic. Aravir and Gawain know more about their trade than anyone you are likely to meet. And don't forget Isabel. The gift she will share with you, aside from the dragon memories, is the most prominent one you'll receive in Foglo. Divine blessing, Slayer. The last ingredient needed to achieve the effect of luminosity still eludes me. Maybe we could add some fireflies. That might solve the brightness issue, but wouldn't exactly improve the taste. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost! <laughs> ah, yes. There's that famous wit of his. Slayer, meet Toral. So formal, yet relaxed. Most are chilled to the bone the first time they see a phantom. Most ghosts you'll meet are there because of unfinished business. The strength of their will not to move on until that business is settled is what binds them to the material world. In my case, it was my passion for alchemy. I will not find tranquility until I have fathomed all its innermost enigmas. Could take a while still. Why, the Hall of Echoes, of course. Don't tell me you've never heard of it. It's a transitional place between our world and the next. Rumor has it your memories are eaten away so that you can enter the afterlife unburdened by the sorrows of this life. An unnecessary precaution, if you ask me. I have mostly fond memories of my time in Rivalon. You know where to find me. How is that medicine coming along? General Luxurious shall soon feel like he was 20 again. Yes, which is not such an appealing image, knowing his preferences. But he pays good money. Matt Morgana, that means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, but don't speak aloud. 
It's not uncommon to have feelings of anticipation and eagerness, or even fear, when one has yet to face a betrayer. Surprised? Surely you have heard of the gift of mind reading that dragon slayers possess. Maybe you have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. Of course, it is one of the reasons you are here. Now stand still and look into my eyes. The secrets of all shall be revealed to you. Be aware, though, strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost, so you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. It was a skill given to dragons only until a scroll was discovered that bore the spell. A slayer found it among the ruins of a dragon knight's citadel tower, and we have used it ever since. Fare thee well, slayer. the wizard. So, magic, you know, I recommend it and such. I don't have all day. My experiments, they keep me very busy. But fine, go ahead. I'll indulge you for a bit. First of all, the Slayer wizards are no fairy tale cliches. No toad tickling beard and silly hats. They are warriors, like all the others in the Order. However, their weapons are the physical expression of the powers of the mind. Those who command these forces can vanquish all foes that they literally put their minds to. Of course, even the strongest intellect may be exhausted if used improperly. So it's up to the mage to see that this doesn't happen. Oh, many things. I'm currently trying to make the metaphysical physical, which is turning out to be quite a challenge. Then there's the perpetuum mobile, and the turning of base materials into gold. I think the combination of the two would make for especially interesting results. If you like, just try not to burn down our enclave, would you? Sonia is near the arena entrance. She'll tell you the rest. in archery. I'll tell you all about it if you like. I'm out of here. A ranger born and bred. Archery is my occupation and my passion. And it could be yours as well. The way of the ranger is the one of a hunter. A woodsman. 
Master, this art, and the enemy will never even see you coming. You'll walk the wilds quietly as the deer, but you'll strike with the force of wolf fangs. Just make sure you are always the one doing the hunting, and not the rabbit that stumbles into the snare. Good for you. I'll cast the ranger spell and give you a bow. When you're ready, Sonia will open the arena for you. Ah, this is good to know. Look at you. Not a scar on your rosy skin. You're a newborn if ever I saw one. Well spoken. Not everyone has that attitude so soon after the memory ritual. The best thing to do is to get back in the saddle as quickly as possible. Just say the word and I'll give you something to fight. It's a good way to get started, to relearn moves and skills quickly. As you know, some swear by the sword, others by the bow, and still others by magic. But you were well versed in all three paths, so once you are out on missions, you can combine your skills as much as you like. The most important thing is defeating the enemy. How you do that is entirely up to you. No, you can change disciplines as much as you like. Alberic, Aravir and Gawain don't mind. But you can only have one of the discipline spells on you when you leave the village. Warrior, Wizard or Ranger. Later you can train all three paths again if you like. Excellent. Here are some goblins to pierce. Eyes shine brighter than they did before you came to Farglow, Slayer. Gawain's the name. Old Paladin of the Divine Order. My life has always been that of the Blade. It is an art I will teach you, should you want me to. It is the noblest path a Slayer can follow, and the most satisfying. Each enemy is killed up close and personal. You can feel and taste the blood that comes with each victory. Study the skills that come with the territory, and you and your weapon of choice will become an unstoppable harbinger of death. It is an order of paladins founded by the Divine after his ascension to Demigod. We have fought the Black Ring in all its forms ever since until the Great War and the Divine's death at the hand of a Dragon Knight. Just thinking about it still makes my blood boil. You Slayers do commendable work. Exterminating the Betrayers is a just cause indeed. Only one more of the beasts to go I have been given to understand. I hope you will contribute to its demise. Excellent. I'll give you the warrior powers and a sword. Find Sonia. She provides the live targets around here. Ah, this is good to know. You look more than ready to head back to the Academy Slayer. But remember, you may only have one of the veteran spells on you when you leave. So choose wisely before you depart. Finally, you're here. I apologize, but I'll have to extend my congratulations later. Moments ago, we received word. 
A dragon was spotted in Broken Valley. While this surely is exciting news, the timing is less than perfect. You were supposed to do a ritual that would channel the dragon memories, which is extremely important for your health and that of your surroundings. If we postpone it for too long, you will go dragon wild, and the ones that survive that terrible affliction spend the rest of their lives in deep dungeons, eating their own tongues and clawing out their eyes. Horrible though that prospect may be, the dragon takes precedence, so I hope we'll be able to improvise along the way. I see you're equipped with a sword. You're sure you want to face our foe as a warrior? The destiny of the Dragon Slayers shall come to its conclusion at last. Quickly now, all aboard! <laughs>